Hello and welcome to part 33 of my video series on how to use Blender 2.6. In this video I'm going to be covering how to add colors to bones. Why would you want to add colors to bones? Well, um, a few years ago I created this character, a little Teletubby alien thing, and uh, I gave him an armature. It's on a different layer in this case, and it's quite similar to the armature that we created in my last three videos, my IK mini series. Although it has some eye bones for making the eyes point in a certain direction, and a jaw bone and some mouth bones, but otherwise it's pretty similar. And uh, I animated this character in a walk cycle, so I made him walk, and I actually posted that video on my channel a couple years ago. If you look down, you can find it, I'm sure. Um, but the problem with this armature, same thing with the armature and rig that we created in the last three videos, is that um, it's hard to tell the difference between the left arm and the right arm and the left leg and the right leg when you're animating the character, especially if you're not looking at the actual mesh. If you're looking at just the bones, in this case we have the character mesh on the first layer and the bones on a different layer, so we can just isolate each one if we don't want to see the, the character mesh the entire time, which was, would probably be ideal. Um, so if I'm looking at the character from the side, it's hard to now tell the difference between the left leg and the right leg. If I grab one leg's IK bone and move it back and one leg's IK bone and move it forward so that like, he would be walking or in mid stride in this case, I can't tell right now which bone is the left leg and which bones are the right leg. Only if I kind of swivel the view or orbit the view can I tell and that will slow me down and it did. So we can actually add colors to bones and have different bones different colors. So I would want in this case make all the bones on the character's right side one color, or even more ideally, make all the bones or some of the bones in his right and left arm and left leg and right leg all different colors, so I can at any time know exactly which bones are where. So to add colors to bones, we're actually going to be creating bone groups and then assigning a group of bones um, a specific color set. So to make a bone group, it's actually quite easy. You just have to select a group of bones with the box select tool, or any way you like. The box select tool is, of course, the B key. And we go to the object data tab. Now we're in pose mode on the armature. And if we scroll down, we can find the bone groups heading. So to make a bone group, you just press this little plus button, and it creates a new group. We're going to name this group arm.r, because that's the right arm. And now, with these bones selected in the right arm, we will press Assign, and that will assign those bones to the selected group. And now we can give these bones a color theme. Now, color themes, um, Blender has 20 of them by default, but you can also create your custom color theme. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and just choose a preset one for now, maybe theme number 9. That's a yellow theme. But it didn't show up. And the reason that it is not actually showing the bones with that color is because we have to actually turn on bone colors. And you can do that very easily. Uh, right under the display heading in the object data tab, there is the option for colors of bones. And I check that, and now all the bones are that color. In every color theme, there are three colors. There is the color of the bone, the first color. The second color is the color of selected bones. And the third color is the color of the outline of the active bone. The difference between the selected bones and the active bones is that the bone that you have just selected will be the active bone. In this case, the lightest color of yellow in this theme is the active bone. So you can tell this bone has the lightest color of yellow, and that's the active bone. But if you have more than one bone selected, the active bone is the most recent bone that you've selected. So if I hold shift and select the second bone, it becomes the active bone, and the other bone gets this middle color, the color of other selected bones. This first color is the color of the faces of the bones. Right now we have all the bones displaying in wireframe, even though we're in the shaded um, viewport display style. The reason that that is is because we have the bones turned, or the object turned to display wire type. So that's under the uh, object tab in the properties window. Under the display heading we can change the display type from wire back to solid if we like. And so that first color um, in the color theme is the color of the actual bones. If you want to create our own theme, you'll notice that if you change one of the colors or all the colors in one of the predefined themes, it doesn't work. If I change this color to a red color, the bones didn't turn red. And that's because we actually have to change the color theme to custom color set. 
and now those bones all turned red, but the outline colors of the selected and the active bones are still the same. So to make color uh, custom colors, you have to choose custom color set. Let's go ahead and make all the bones in the left arm have a different color. So we'll select them, um, go to the bone groups area right there, and press the plus button to make a bo new bone group. We'll type in arm, whoops, actually right there, arm.l, there we go. And then press assign to assign those bones to the arm.l group. Now we'll give it a color theme, in this case, a very ugly brown color. I'll change that because it's a little bit too similar to the red set for my liking. There we go, red and blue, that works for me. I'm going to go ahead and choose or select all the bones in the character's right leg, add a new group, I'll name this group leg.r, and we'll assign the selected bones to that group, select a color set, dark green, sure, make a new bone group, leg.r. Oops, we actually have to click, do click right there. Leg.l and press the sign and choose a different theme. Hopefully not black. A light green? Mm, sure, why not? So now if we are just animating the character, we can tell the difference between the left and right bones and the arms and the legs. So if I'm animating my character, that makes it a whole lot easier. I can grab my hand eye K bone on the character's left side and I can tell the difference between it and the right hand side quite easily. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helped and I'll see you next time.